What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing my first furniture flip and painting furniture for the first time. I went ahead and bought this nightstand and dresser from the thrift store. We won't be worrying about this dresser today, but this nightstand I bought for $25 from a local thrift store. This nightstand is solid wood with just a little wear and tear on the top. My name's Matt, AKA The Furniture Guy. I'm a business entrepreneur student at the University at Buffalo. I'm on a mission to paint and flip furniture to make some money on the side. Welcome to my channel. Before we get going on this dresser, I need a quick drink. It is hot out here. Before we start painting and staining this nightstand, we need to make sure we properly prep. First thing I'm going to do is grab my shop vac and take any dust and debris off the piece. And I'm going to go ahead and take all the hardware off the nightstand. Now we're going to go ahead and use a degreaser and clean off our piece. This is very important before starting to sand to remove all grease and dirt off our piece. This is going to make sure that we have a clean surface to work with. I'm going to completely sand off the top so we can stain. If we were just going to paint the top, this would not be necessary. I started off with 120 grit, but this wasn't doing it quite fast enough, so I went ahead and grabbed some 80 grit. Now here's what it looks like when it's completely sanded. I like the way it turned out besides this one little divot on the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this little small detailed sander to get around the edge. I wipe off all the dust and shavings with this tack cloth. I go ahead and apply a coat of Minwax Golden Oak Stain. The divot on the side here was showing way too much. So so I go ahead and apply some stainable wood filler in the crack. Also, there's these scratches that are also showing way too much through the stain. So I'm going to go ahead and sand off this top and apply a true black Minwax stain. Here I go ahead and sand off that stain. I decided to give the rest of the dresser a quick scuff sand while I have the sander out. I'm not completely sanding it down to the bare wood like I did the top because we're only going to be painting it. The point of the scuff sand is to get a nice flat surface and also give a nice surface for the, the primer and the paint to stick to. I 
finished off the scuff sand with this 200 grit sanding sponge to give a nice clean finish. Then I go ahead and put a strip of this tape so no stain drips down my piece. After all this, uh, I gotta go ahead and cook some food. Look at this. Whew! Finally, we're going to put some of the stain on. I use an old cloth and just wipe the stain right onto the piece. Then here what it then this is what the dresser looks like after the stain. Then we grab this frog tape and we're gonna tape off the whole top. I'm gonna make sure to tape this off really well so we don't get any paint or primer on the top. And now it's finally time to prime this piece. I decided to use this shellac base spray primer. I could have went ahead and used another coat, but I was just happy how it was considering I was painting light. For the drawers, I was kind of reckless and used this, instead of taping them off, uh, I just held this cardboard up and it didn't stop all of the spray. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and scuff this guy down. Using this 220 grit, sanding sponge, I can wipe off any bumper, thicker part of the primer that was left. Now it's time to finally start painting. I decided to use this Krylon chalky finish paint with this home right spray gun. This is where things start to go a little bit downhill. This paint is super thick, so it was kind of taking a long time going through the strainer. I go ahead and toss the paint can right onto the gun. I started off by testing the spray patterning on this old piece of wood. I didn't quite like how it was coming out, but I started paying anyways. I was really rushed in the process.
I didn't like the way this crack looked on the side here, so I go ahead and apply a little bit of this caulk. I decided to finish this project off by hand because I didn't like the way the spray was coming on. I didn't have time to keep bringing the dresser in the back, so I decided to learn by hand. I messed up with this one side and painted it against the grain and you can definitely tell how it finished. The side I went against the grain you could definitely see the brush strokes and it looked way worse. I'm glad I learned this mistake and it will never happen again. At least I hope not. Oh. I lightly sanded it with a 220 grit sand sponge before the final coat. I decided to go with this Minwax Polycrylic Clear Satin Finish. Overall, I'm really happy how this polycrylic came out. The only problem was, down by the bottom on the little lip, a little bit of the paint came off. I went back and touched this up and it was no problem, but I'm still not sure why this happened. I possibly could have overworked it or just didn't sand and prep the area well enough. And finally, the best part. I go ahead and apply these cheap Lowe's hardware and stage this piece and we're done. I'm quite satisfied how this turned out. It was my first time painting and finishing some furniture. If you liked anything you saw today, please give me the sub. It would help so much.